I'm trying to paint. Today I am painting Wolflord Crom Dragon Gaze from the Sanctus Reach Stone Color Box set. Paints I will be using will be Fenrisian Grey, Nuln Oil, Ironbreaker Adornstone, Reckland Flesh Shade, Ulthorn Grey, Usha Hapti Bone, Lothan Blue, Tokira Orange, White Scar, um, Abaddon Black, Kisla Flesh, Mook Green, and Evil Suns Scarlet. First paint I'm using will be the Evil Sun Scarlet. You can swap this out for Mephiston Red if you want to be a little darker, not as like bright as I do it. But yeah, I was just going to use Cape there. Then it was my friend Rizium Grey. This is for all the armor and just like his armor basically, his little power armor suit. Then I'm on to Kislev Flesh. This is for his little squishy face, his little fleshy face. Because he don't like wearing a helmet, he likes to walk around growling at people. Then I'm on to my Usha Habti Bone. I'm doing all the furry parts, like his furry parts and the bony parts and wolf tail parts and all the parts which would be suitable. And you're free to use your own judgment if you you want to work for my video or whatever, you know. You want to do like the bone parts green, you do them green. I am just did Dornstone there on the ground and I'm doing a bit of Iron Breaker on little metal -y bits like his gun and the sword and here I'm getting his little bionic eye and things like that. Just look around. You see anything that you think, yeah, that looks like it's made of metal. I'm going to do it metal colored. And I know a lot of people do like gold or bronze, where, but I think silver gives them a much colder color. And if you're going to go for like an icy base, then I think it, it's good to use cold colors. I say that after using the brightest red ever, but yeah, I have some logic in there. Then I'm onto my Jokyo Orange. This is for his little ginger hair, which, you know, Makes them look pretty, pretty cool, pretty fierce. Then I'm onto my gnome oil. And I just want to get this in all the cracks and all the recesses. Um, except for his face. Don't get this on his skin. He has allergies. No, it's because we're going to use a different shade. But keep it on everywhere, pretty much, in all the cracks. Don't get it on, like, here, as you can see with the cape. I'm just, like, get it in the crack. And I'm kind of splatting in there and trying to keep it thin. But there's no point getting it on all the surface areas. Then with the Rifle Flesh Shade, we can just like tan up his skin a bit and get a bit of detail there. And then back to our Doran Stone, just to pick out the edges of our now washed like rock basing and stuff. Then I'm doing a bit of a dry brush and this is just to like pick out more of like the layers. And it kind of like, if you do like a line highlight kind of thing and then you do a dry brush, it kind of like blends the two together to give a smoother, more natural look or whatever. Then I'm onto Usha Hapti Bone. And with my Uta bone, I'm just like picking out and highlighting all the bony stuff. Because it's too dark. Then I'm doing a uh, dry brush. I had to think it was cool then. And yeah, I'm just picking out all the furry parts. It's a pretty simple process, you know. You color it, you wash it, you recolor it, and you highlight it. And it's, that's pretty much how I go. Then I'm doing Iron Breaker. And I know that's not your typical steps, but I don't care. I don't care. I like how I do it. And as you can see with the drivers here on the pistol, you can actually see like the silver like being picked out on the edges stuff. That is what we want to achieve by doing a driver shivine breaker on the metal-y parts. And with my fair resume gray, I can go back around the armor, which is really awkward on this model because there's little tiny bits sticking through everywhere. So you gotta be really careful. But yeah, I'm just picking out all the armors, just making him look a little bit more space wolf colored. And my Evil Sun Scarlet, I'm doing the same kind of thing here, just on the capes and like on the loincloth and on the handle of his axe and things. I'm just going around picking out all the red, trying to like keep the details. You don't want to be losing any of your wash. Try and keep your paint thin, like keep it watered and do layers. And yeah, then I'm onto my kids' left flesh. It's just to pick out some of the like raised areas of his skin, give him a bit of definition because of the flesh shade that we put on there. Then we're on to Jokyo Orange, and then just picking out these hairs, you know? You gotta get that mohawk nice and even, so you gotta pick out them hairs with a bit of orange in there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm highlighting around the patterns and the cape and all the red hairs. And you want to keep it on the raised areas and the edges. I know, like, I have a tendency to just full on outline everywhere, but it's really not necessary. Just get the raised areas, especially people can often, I know, find it hard to do like a cloak or fabric if you just keep it really simple like I'm doing here just pick out these edges like that's it and it will look decent I see here it looks okay I mean it's a bit shiny that's just because at the end you want to use like a varnish or a matte spray to, and that will get rid of that shine and then it will look super awesome 
And Latham Blue, this is from his Frost Axe. I'm just doing all the blades in that. Then I'm on to Moot Green. And with my little Mooty Green, I'm picking out the Gemstones. And I, I don't know whether they have an actual name aside from Gemstones or whatever, but I'm just picking those out. And the green just adds a bit more color to the whole model. And I like that in more detail. Um, here I'm using the Ult 1 gray, and this is just for highlighting the Femrisian gray parts. And it's a really nice um, color combination because it's like a dirty white, basically. It's like the lightest possible gray you could have before you hit white. And it works. And I'm just here, I'm doing the same thing on the frost blade, just picking out the little carved in uh, triangles and like the edge lines and things like that. Then I want a white scar, and this is for all the metal and for various parts. We're gonna go through various parts. Like now, I'm doing just picking out a bit of bone here on the skull, and I'm basically just working my way around the model. I see something, I think, yeah, that looks like that edge is sticking out a bit, and you can do with a bit of sparkle. And like on the muzzle of the bolt pistol here, you gotta be really careful if you wanna do that because it's a really obvious um, area for mistakes that people might notice. And then picking out like the top of the wolf head there, just one line along his backpack there. It's enough to like give that enough shine. And then I'm putting a little line and I kind of cross it a little bit. And this is just on the gemstones to just give them a bit of shine, you know? Like they've, they've got to be a little reflective or something. And then I'm just picking out the edges of these wolf claws and his wolf pores and these sorts of things. And this is a dry brush I'm doing here. I know I didn't show you wiping on tissue, but do I have to every time? I don't think so. But yeah, I'm doing wolf tails, doing his little wolfy cape. And you don't have to dry brush the entire surface area of all the fur, just go around like the edges or bits that are raised. You see here, I also did um, his frost axe just to help blend in the ultimate gray. And I did like the gravel on his face and the rocks as well as a bit of his ginger hair on his face. Just to, it gives him a more frosty look of like, if you're gonna do snow bases in particular. And yeah, that's basically the final model here. Just give him a little strain for you guys to look at. I really like him, like, I think he looks pretty decent amongst my Space Wolves. I mean, he needs that matte spray. Like, you should always varnish, and in this particular case, you can see why. But yeah, thank you for watching my video. Please click that like button, and you can click here for other videos that I've done. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.